the back of the bus. We made two giant holes. Holes in the back. Boy, I tell you, I'm nervous cutting into this uh, thing here. Well, first I had to remove these uprights. These, uh, I don't know what these are, aluminum or something. Uprights. Um, there were two of them, one here and one here. And I wanted just one smack dab in the center. So I ground it out, drilled new holes, new rivets, uh, and, and put it smack in the center. And then we've got these louvers that we bought for, I think, $14 or $12 down at the uh, Mills Fleet Farm. Um, I see the paint is not sticking very well to it. But anywho, uh, the basic idea is that it will go right, right here, one each on each side. From the outside, it actually looks pretty nice. And then what we're going to do is we have an air conditioner, window mount, because we're cheap. <laughs> we're going to put that right here and it's going to drain through this tube. Uh, it's water condensate uh, down onto the ground. Uh, and uh, it will have a shroud. I'm going to build on my uh, brake and rivet it up and stick it on so that the exhaust from the small window unit goes out through this vent here. The corresponding then vent over on this side here uh, will then be the air inlet and so the air inlet on a window AC is on the side and top the exhaust is on the back and so that's for the hot air hot air in here and sides exhausts out the back so the hot air will, will be brought in from outside it'll come cycle through and be pushed out the other room so there's two livers, $14 at the local uh, Fleet and Farm store. Install with rivets, use a rivet fan, put them a quarter, an inch and a quarter on center. Um, and the hot air coming out of this one is uh, hardly bearable. This one is the intake, it's working great. You can then the cold, cool air from the inside will get sucked in through the intake and out through the uh, exhaust uh, for cool air. And uh, we should be in business with a cheap window air conditioner. So this is a 8,000 BTU and uh, it works, works quite well and it pulls a lot of water out of the air. We've got uh, three days approaching 100 degrees in a row, high, high, high humidity and the air conditioner has been on full blast all day long and uh, working great. Um, these temporary uh, pieces are put up here. Uh, uh, to seal off the airflow and make the air chambers inside I previously described. Um, and we never just scrap left over from the floor, which will be the subject of a coming video.